Hi, I'm Mickey Delp, and I'm going to demonstrate the Delptronics Bender Sequencer. First, let's define our terms. Circuit bending is the art of taking a toy or synthesizer or anything that makes a sound and modifying it so that it makes new and unusual sounds. A sequencer is a device that plays a sequence of notes, or more accurately, that tells something else to play a sequence of notes. A sequencer doesn't actually make sound on its own, it controls another device that does make sound. The Bender Sequencer is the first sequencer designed specifically for circuit benders. The output of the Bender Sequencer is a variable resistance. It comes through these screw terminals at the top. You connect wires to it and wires to the device being bent. Where you hook up those wires is basically wherever you have a pitch control. Maybe it's a potentiometer, a variable resistor, or maybe it's a fixed resistor that you want to make variable and control the pitch. One of the easiest devices to control with the Bender sequencer is the Gacken synthesizer. The reason is that its pitch control resistor is external. It's like non-invasive circuit bending. This touch strip here is actually the same thing as a potentiometer and this is like the wiper of the potentiometer. It connects it to various places along here to change the pitch. So we can simply put the bender sequencer between these two points. Just like this. Here's a slightly more permanent or at least stable setup. Here, instead of just bare wires that I'm holding with my hands, I've soldered alligator clips to the wires and then I can clip them on and it stays still a little better. This is a great method for testing the sequencer with other devices. Let's try a few. Alligator clips work great, but they're not very stable uh, and hardly a permanent solution. On anything that I build or bend, I like to install a jack. So here on the Gacken, I've put a jack and it's connected to exactly the same two points where we connected the uh, alligator clips. So now I connect two wires to a plug on the bend and put those wires into the bender sequencer and piece of cake. Now I can plug in the bender sequencer into anything that uh, I've installed the jack on. Like some of this stuff.